save those cardboard boxes and make this. I started by wrapping a single sheet of cardboard in marble paper. Then I grabbed two rectangular boxes and I'm going to wrap these in the brick paper. Then I'm going to grab another square piece of cardboard and wrap that in brick as well. Now let's put it together. I've got a base, two sides, a back, and a mantle. Now let's decorate it. I want to put some logs in my fireplace. Now I can just place these in my fireplace. They are pretty lightweight so I might use some scotch tape to keep them in place. I'm going to grab some fairy lights, some battery operated lights, and I'm gonna stick these in the fireplace on this kind of pulsing setting so it looks like a flame. Add a few decorations to the top and I have this beautiful little mantle that's gonna be so festive for the season. What I did was I grabbed a nice big thick board for the base and a four by four post, put it right in the middle while I use some corner braces. I put one in the front, one in the back, and it's really strong. The next thing I gotta do is I gotta put the cap on. Next, we gotta prime the wood. Once it's primed, let's bring it inside. Let's take some two inch tape and start wrapping it all around the post at an angle. I need to grab some red paint, put it all out right there. Once you get those coats on, start peeling that tape off. Now we gotta put some hooks on. I just need three. A lot of us don't have fireplaces and this works great. I hope you enjoyed this DIY stocking stand. I'm going to take my craft knife. I'm just going to cut the pool noodle. I've cut my craft paper. I've made sure it overlaps a little bit. I'm going to scrunch it up into a ball and then I'm going to unscrunch it the same way. So it's got lots of nice pieces in it. I'm going to really squeeze that hard. And I am going to just rip it into strips. I'm going to take my pool noodle and I'm just going to draw around it in a circle and cut out both at the same time. I've got some tacky glue. So just a quick drop of water and I'm going to give it a quick mix up. I'm going to take my pool noodle and I'm going to add some glue around this top area. Here. And I'm literally going to just squish it onto there, pull it around. I'm letting it overlap slightly at the top here. I'm going to get to the end and pop a little bit of glue there and push her down. There we go. So that's the next one. Now that I've actually attached all of the brown paper, add some glue to this top part here, pop that onto there, and there we go. Now I'm gonna go leave this to dry, take a couple of pieces of TP. So all I'm gonna do is scrunch it up, get a little bit of the glue, pop that on there, and I'm just gonna leave it on there to just kind of sit there all on its own. I'm now going to take some white paint, I'm just gonna mix a little bit into here, a couple of drops of water in there, I'm going to mix that up and I'm going to lightly cover my birch tree. So after one coat of paint, this is what your log will look like. What I then did is I actually added a second coat of paint, a little drop of that to this white paint that I've got here. I'm just going to mix that in. I'm going to add a little bit more water to that as well because we want to create a wash to go over the top of this. Pull it all the way across. And I'm not rubbing particularly hard with my brush. So I've got some brown artist paint here, just acrylic from the dollar store and some of the black as well. And this is where we're going to apply a little bit of artistic license here. And I've got, this is a squeegee that I use all the time. It's a silicon squeegee. And we're going to just put this across. I'm going to start thinking about making some of those little birch tree marks. So we're going to take some um, metallic paint, add this onto the top. Who would have thought that pool noodles, a little bit of craft paper, and a tiny little bit of TP and paint would create these gorgeous reusable logs? Save your pickle jars, especially the large ones. They can make beautiful seasonal decor. Put it in a bath of warm, soapy water. Make sure you get that pickle odor out of there. Take that label right off. Start by grabbing a roll of contact paper. Cut out a little star shape, and I'm just gonna trace it onto the contact paper. And I'm gonna cut out about a dozen stars in different sizes. Peel the back off and place them all around your pickle jar. Once all the stars are placed, it's time to paint this. We are going to use a frosted glass spray paint. So once you've got two coats on there, grab a tweezer and we're gonna pull off those stars right away. I'm gonna use some rope from the dollar store and a Christmas sprig with some red berries and some green leaves. Once all the embellishments are on, I'm gonna use a battery powered tea light to drop on the inside. And that's it. Save those pickle jars and turn them into beautiful lanterns for the holiday season. To start, grab two pool noodles and some duct tape. Curve your noodles into a circle. Tape the ends of the pool noodles together. Next, grab some ornaments and hot glue them to the outer ring and inner ring of the circle. Then, pile ornaments on the top to cover up the pool noodles entirely. Fill in small spaces with smaller ornaments. After the ornaments are secure, grab some dried greenery and glue it to the ornaments to add even more fullness to the wreath. 
Finally, wrap some battery operated LED lights in between the ornaments and greenery and secure it to the back of the wreath. Hang it up and enjoy! Such a fun, customizable dollar store Christmas decor idea. I'm going to paint this with Wise Owls chalk synthesis paint and antique Kavia. So I've painted around the entire box, right? Recycled trolley crate decoupage paper is what we're going to be using today. I'm going to take this plastic wrap and I'm just going to like ball it up and make myself like a little pad. I'm going to do this in sections. So I'm going to put this first row down. Now I'm going to have a few wrinkles, but I'm not going to stress about those because once the paper dries, those wrinkles will go away. Fold this back and do the next section. Let's get the rest of this decoupaged. We painted in a little bit on the insides of these. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a little product along here and um, I'm going to fold this paper over. Um, so I'm just going to go along the corner here and I'm able to trim both pieces of paper at the same time. I'm just going to kind of decoupage it and lay it down and it's barely noticeable. And decoupage these bottom flaps down under my box. We are going to seal this and that's it. First thing you're going to do is take that long tube that you got from the wrapping paper and you're going to cut it right in half. Here's our paper towel holder. We're going to just keep cutting tubes until we go all the way up to the top of our tree. Once we got all of those cut out, let's put the trunk on. Next we're going to grab some fabric. This fabric's going to roll over the tube. Once you get that cut out, run you a bead of hot glue down the cardboard tube. Roll the tube right into place. On the outside, just put a bead of glue and just start tucking it in. Once we got at least two tubes that are covered in the fabric, run a bead of glue, put these two tubes together, just keep on going, and I use some burlap also in there to intermingle. Last but not least, look at that trunk. Let's grab us a paint stick, put some glue on the back side, turn it over, and that is going to get pressed onto the fabric and it's going to give it some stiffness. Now we're going to flip it back over. It's time to decorate. Isn't that just beautiful sitting on top of your mantle with everything all decorated? I'm going to paint this inside part with some dark blue acrylic paint. Once this was dry, I've cut the edges of the plate off. Got here some copper acrylic paint. I'm gonna stencil through. So once it was dry, I took a pencil and drew around the contours of this stencil. And now I'm cutting it out. I have some just regular Elmer's glue. And I'm going to add to that some glitter and paint it all over my snowflake. Leave that to dry. I'm going to put a little dab of glue and then stick it on my snowflake. And here are my finished snowflakes hung across my mantelpiece. Pick up six clear plastic punch bowls from Dollar Tree. Cut a round hole in the bottom of each punch bowl and then glue the bowls together top to top with hot glue. Take the six attached bowls and then glue the bases of the bowls together so that you have three bowl balls stacked vertically. Take an LED fairy light strand, wrap the string lights around a wood dowel and thread them through the center holes. Distribute the fairy lights into each bowl. Place the bowl stack on top of a planter of choice. Hot glue the bow, pine cones, and Christmas ornaments to the top of the bowls. Plug it in and there you have it, a cheap way to create your own easy Christmas decorations for your home.